But, John, I was looking forward and counting on us being together tonight. I mean, what is it? Something in the hospital business? Uh, no, no, it's not. It, it's something personal. I really can't get into it. Oh, you mean Susan has had another anonymous phone call or another fainting fit? It, it has nothing to do with Susan, though I may have to talk to her later on. I just bet you do. Darling, <clears throat> what about this whole weekend? What about New Year's Eve? Are you going to be able to squeeze me in? I'm just going to have to call you. You do that. Well, I don't seem to be able to do anything right tonight. <clears throat> oh, now listen, what happened at Andy certainly wasn't your fault. I was tempted to say some of the same things myself. You know, he's having trouble with little Miss Seattle. I don't care what he says, and that's what's causing him to be so defensive. I, I... Oh, hi. I didn't even hear you hi, guys darling. come in. Listen, um, Mom, Dad got called away to the hospital on an emergency, so... What, did you guys have a chance to talk to Andy? We did. Franny, the situation is much worse than we thought. Now, you know you should have x-rays taken. You should have a complete examination. I think you might have a pinched nerve. Oh, just because I fainted doesn't have anything to do with my back. Hey, I I'm a doc, too. You know a doc? Mm-hmm. You, yeah. you want to know why I fainted? I fainted because I didn't eat anything all day. All I put in my stomach was coffee. Now, I'm sorry that they called you all the way down there. You had to come all the way down to the hospital. Susan, I was glad to do it. I thought you and Kim would go to the McKechnie's party. Well, that's still up in the air. She and John have a meeting with Lynn Michaels, and uh, I have a feeling they'll probably go see Andy, too. I, I hope John keeps a lid on his feelings uh, about Julie. That's the last thing Andy needs, you know? Well, that's what I told Kim, but she feels strongly that John should be involved. Excuse me. Bill. Hey! Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, we figured we'd just stop by and see if we could talk you into having dinner and then go into Shannon and Duncan's with me. Well, Dr. Bob. Hey, Hi. Emily. Hello, Brock. Maybe I, you can talk some sense into your stubborn mother. Why? What happened? Well, she fainted at the hospital this evening. What? Wait a minute. Are you all right? I am perfectly fine. I didn't put anything in my stomach all day. I got a little dizzy. Hey, if you hadn't had your dinner, we can uh, uh, order in, and then you can go to the party. Yeah, I better get ready to go to that party myself, if I go. Probably see you later at the open house. Yes. And you, you get some rest tonight. Bye, Bye Bob. Sir. See you. Mother, look, Bob might buy your brave front, but I know that you're in pain. And I think you should tell John what happened, so why don't you start the New Year's right and pick up that phone and you tell him that this whole thing is Lucinda's fault. Now, some of you moved back from Africa. No kidding. Yeah. David's down in Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Disease control center. Oh, wow. yeah, he's doing the same work. Come on in. The more the merrier. Yeah. What, are you having a party? Oh, there you go. Well, everybody kept on dropping by, so I guess it is a party. Yeah, it's 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 this thing game. here. Get this guy off, will you? Got it, got it, got okay. it. This okay. will work out just perfectly. Because now we can take Adam over to your house. Yeah, and then you two can go straight over to uh, Duncan and Shannon's. Great. Good. I love Good. flexible babysitter. There you go. Ellen. You want to come with me? Yes. I hey, thought that you would be down in Atlanta with, with David. Give me his pick. I just don't want to make any definite plans till we know when they're going to reschedule Emily's hearing. Last I heard, they hadn't even appointed a new judge to hear the case. Uh, yeah, Judge Walker's going to be presiding. The same judge who tried Paul? Mm-hmm. Have they set a date? Yeah, Jessica's already told Emily the hearings are set to begin the day after New Year's. Happy New Year. It's very nice to meet you, Mr. Pryor. I asked Lucas if he wouldn't mind coming over early because I thought maybe he might need a little help. But I see you have everything under control. Of course. And I was very happy to see that you have a doorman installed downstairs. Oh, 
Um, we're thinking of installing a security device so that we can just buzz people up, and uh, Lisa tells me that your firm specializes in that sort of thing. We do, but mostly we handle you know, government contracts and big installations for institutions. But I could take a look at your situation and give you whatever advice I can. Well, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Sure. Oh, that's the last. <laughs> oh, look who's here. Hi. 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 Yes. Hi. Happy New Year. Hi. That's Barbara Ryan. Ah. Yeah. Shannon, the place is terrific. It's really beautiful. Yeah, and with all those flights of stairs, it's like having your own private gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get some refreshments all then. Right. Back in a minute. I'm coming with you. Excuse me, Miss Ryan. Yes. Hi, I'm Lucas Pryor. How do you do? Yes. Uh, aren't you a client of Montgomery and Associates? I saw your name on their client list, and I'm in town looking for a management consulting firm. And I wanted to know, uh, are you pleased with Montgomery Associates Happy Services? Well, Happy New Year. Well, so far I'm very pleased with it. No, I have to admit that I'm not thrilled about Craig Montgomery being inactively involved at this point. Though what I've seen of Sean Baxter is, is quite good. And uh, what about Emily Stewart? <laughs> um, well, Miss Stewart and I have some personal differences. In fact, I'm not sure what's going to happen with the business if she's found guilty of the perjury charges she's facing. Hi. Hello. Um, Happy New Year. Lucas Pryor, I'd like you to meet Jessica Griffin. How do you do? How do you do? Oh, Jessica, we were just talking about Emily's trial that's coming up, the perjury charges. Oh, Jessica is Emily's attorney. Have they set a date yet? Yes, uh, the day after New Year's. That's soon. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Uh, excuse me, Duncan, do you have a telephone I could use in private? Hi, you can use Shannon's office. Follow me. Excuse me. Certainly. Well, you certainly look lovely. Is Paul going to be joining us tonight? Uh, as far as we know, uh, he's going to stop and pick up Andy and Julie on the way. <laughs> could you get this hook for me? Gladly. Now, who'd do this for you if we split up, huh? Andy, please. We just had a nice dinner. Can't we just have fun tonight and give it a rest? Julie, that remark you made before my mom and dad showed up. How do you expect me to just forget? Get the door. That's probably Paul. Hi. Hello. Don't you look beautiful? Oh, thank you. You guys about all set? Hi, Paul. Yeah, I'm eating my watch. Good. How's he doing? Well, I don't think he's drinking again, That's good. which is good. But uh, he's been in such a weird mood lately. He's like hyper one minute, and then he's depressed the next. Do me a favor, will you? Just help me keep his spirits up tonight, and keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get anywhere near the booth. You got it. Thanks. You're a good friend. I'm all set. Great. <laughs> So, what do you think about making a wish on that Christmas tree, huh? Oh, I don't know. I oh, don't know about on. that. Well, what would you wish for? I would wish for the same thing that I've been wishing for the moment I met you and fell in love with you. Get married. Uh-huh. Spend the rest of our lives together. Uh-huh. Maybe throw a couple of kids in a bargain. Uh -huh. But only when you're ready. I know. You know, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for being so patient because oh, a lot of oh men know a lot of men would not have understood what I've been going through. And, and you have, and it's really meant a lot to me. And, you know, I think I'm making a lot of progress with Dr. Michaels, and I think sometime soon I might be ready to make that, that wish come true. Yeah? Yeah. We all ought to do for New Year's. I think that we ought to throw a big party over at my place. My hired hand and his wife could fix up the grub, save him all that work. How's that sound? That sounds good to me. Yeah, me too. We're taking a vote, Caleb. I say that we ought to have New Year's at my place. What do you think? Sounds great to me. All right. Here's to it. Oh, it's Lily. Lily in the power. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Listen, I'm going over to Shannon and Duncan's open house, and Shannon said to bring people, so how about it? Who's up for a party? I got something for you, girl, before you do that. <laughs> ah, that is from your daddy. <laughs> he and Meg were awful pleased to hear from you over Christmas, but they want to see you in person. And I want to see them, so I'm going to try to make it down to Waco in the next couple of weeks. Now, right. who's going to come to the party with me? Caleb? Mm -hmm. Ellie? Come on, on. Remember our New Year's resolution, no moping. <laughs> All right, I'll go. 
<laughs> well, okay. No, 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 I, no, no, I, I think we'll pass. I'm very tired, too, sweetheart. But have a nice time. Yeah, that goes for me, too. Who all's gonna be at this shindig? Well, tons of people. Uh, Sean Baxter and Franny Hughes, Emily Stewart, and, and the man she's engaged to, Brock Lombard. Those are the people that I know for sure. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment.